Hello you guys. Yay, today is the day for my relaxer. Um I'm already prepped. I based my edges, my ears. Um I've already parted it into the five sections that I'm going to do. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um I'm setting my timer for 20 minutes. That's all I got to work with. So, um again, I'm going to be applying it to the length of my hair first. I've already uh, covered my ends with coconut oil. Um, so that's already been covered. I did it to all five sections. Put the coconut oil on the end so to prevent from overlapping. Got my gloves on. Got my brush. Normally, for real, for real, I do this with my hands. Um, I don't use this brush and nothing like that, but I'm going to try to do things right this time. And if you guys are not comfortable with doing a relaxer yourself, do not do this. Don't try to copy because I'm doing it or whatever. If you're not comfortable, don't do it because this is a chemical. Um, don't play with relaxers. So if you got to go to your professional, get it done there. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is take the, this is, let me show you guys. One, two, three, four, and this is my fifth one. This is bundled up. So I'm going to start with this one. Start from the bottom. I'm going to pull it up so I can start here. I'm going to leave about an inch left, then I'm going to go to the next one if that makes Okay, now I've applied it to the length of my hair. I left a, my roots undone on all of my hair. So now I'm going to go back and apply the relaxer to my roots. Since so that the roots uh, relax a lot faster. So I'm going to go over and do that and I'll be back. Okay, I'm finished uh, smoothing it out. I'm a little past the 20 minutes that I want. I'm at that 23 minutes. Now, so I'm going to go ahead and rinse. This out with water. I'm not going to neutralize it yet. I'm going to do a mild protein treatment with the AFOG, um two-minute reconstructor um, just to 
while my hair shaft is open, before I neutralize, just go ahead and incorporate more protein back into my hair. This is an optional step. I know some people like to wait to after they neutralize to do the, the mild protein treatment, but I like to do mine before I neutralize. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse this out, and I'll come back uh, to show you guys how I'm going to apply the Apple G just to do my mild protein before I actually neutralize my hair. And I'll be back. Okay, I just rinsed it out. I rinsed for like 10 minutes to make sure all of the relaxer was out. I'm going to go ahead and apply my um, Apple G two-minute reconstructor. This is a just a mild protein treatment to apply to my hair. And this is before I'm going to neutralize. So, And I'm so far pleased with the results of the relaxer so far. So, Leave it on for about 10 minutes and rinse it out. And then I'm going to neutralize my hair with the Elastic QP Stop Action. That light is so bright. The Elastic QP Stop Action uh, Neutralizing Shampoo. I probably wash maybe five times with it. And on my last wash, I'm going to leave it, just kind of sit it on my hair for about five to ten minutes and then rinse it out as, as well. So then once I'm done, um, Rinsing this out, I'm going to do the, the neutralizing, and when I come back, I would have finished neutralizing my hair, and I'll show you guys the next step. All right, I just neutralized 15,000 times, and uh, now I'm going to go ahead and apply my DPR11. It's my deep conditioner, and my relaxer came out perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. I didn't go uh, want the bone straight, just flat look, uh, but I did get it. Uh, straight enough where it still has some texture to it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my deep conditioner. Okay, I just applied the conditioner to my hair. So I'm going to put on a plastic cap and sit under the dryer for about 20 minutes. And once I'm done sitting under the dryer, I'm going to rinse it out. And don't forget, on your final rinse for your conditioner, shoot a little cold water on it so that it'll close the cuticle and keep that moisture in there. You know what I'm talking about? I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I will be back. This is a, such a long process. <laughs> such a long process. But it's worth it. My hair still feels super thick, so I'm glad about that. I was worried. That it was gonna feel just paper thin after I relaxed it, but it still got that thickness in it. So, yay! So, I'm gonna go ahead and send it to dry with you guys. I'll be back in 15, 20 minutes. I just rinsed out my deep conditioner. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my leave ins. Um, I'm gonna use the, um, the Apple G Pro Vitamin Leave In, uh, the Carrington Green Tea Reconstructorizer, and I'm also gonna leave in the, I'm sorry, put in the Elastic QP. Um, Leave in H2. Feels like silk. I'm going to apply this as well. So I'm going to apply this and I'm going to allow my hair to air dry about maybe, I don't know, 85, 90%. And then I'm going to blow dry. Golly, it's thick. It is thick. I'm gonna apply some. I'm gonna apply some argan oil, the one and only. Just a little bit throughout. I wish it would have got a little bit more straight. So when I relax again in ten weeks. I'm going to make sure it gets more straight. I didn't want to go with the bone straight look, but I wanted it straighter than this. But it's all good because it's a lot more manageable than what it was. A whole lot more. I should have been rushing. I, I was scared that it was gonna, I was going to leave it on too long and then it was going to fall out in the sink. So, <laughs> it's all good. I'm going uh, to... Um, 
keep it moving. I'm glad I at least got my hair. And it's still super thick. So I'm going to blow dry my hair. And when I come back, I'm going to show y'all me flat iron it. Oh, and I'm going to use my Tresemme heat protectant. Don't forget that. When you're doing, putting heat in your hair. So I'm stop rambling right now. Okay, I'm done blow drying my hair. Um, so I'm going to start flat ironing. Um, again, I'm going to be using my um, ISO. Mm, I forgot what the <laughs> I forgot what kind of flat iron this is. I think it's ISO. I believe. But there's no heat setting on this, but the more you do it, the hotter it gets. So and I'm not gonna put any more um pr uh, products on. Just my leave ins that I put in and the argan oil before I blow dry that's it. I'm not gonna add any additional products or leave-ins or things of that nature. So, I'm going to start from the back. I like it. Now I gotta trim my ends and uh, I'm gonna wrap it up. Okay, I just got my trim done. I did about half an inch. Actually, my my baby did it for me because uh, I couldn't. See. I don't have as much length as I would have liked, but it's okay. Cause like I said, I'm gonna get it this year. I am going to get it, but I do see some growth, so I, I ain't, ain't too mad at it. I do see some growth. Um, I love that my hair is still thick. It is super thick. And I love that. Alright, so I'm gonna leave this in for a couple of hours and I'll Okay you guys, it's been about it's been about a couple of hours since I wrapped my hair. Uh, so I'm just gonna take it down and it's gonna be my final look. results. I really, really appreciate you guys being patient and waiting fifteen months for me to do this. And um 
it's been quite a journey, but this year, y'all, I'm focusing on length. That's going to be my biggest thing. And keeping my ends moisturized and sealed, I believe that's going to be the biggest key. Deep conditioning once a week, you know, that whole thing. So we're going to be trying to incorporate that, trying to minimize heat. And uh, we'll get there. We will definitely get there. So I'm going to take down a wrap. And I'm going to, again, I'm going to relax again. Uh, probably eight weeks because it didn't get as straight as I wanted it to. But uh, I'm going to uh, correct that in about eight weeks with another relaxer. So this is it. It's my final results from my relaxer, and I'm I'm pleased. It didn't get as straight as I wanted it to. Like I said, I'm gonna correct that when I do my next relaxer in eight weeks. Um, but for the most part, I like the Elastic QP. All of the uh, shampoo and conditioner, everything seems to be working pretty good. So uh, I might go ahead and stick with that one uh, from here on out. But um. Yeah, I, I think I'm I'm liking this quite a bit. So you guys definitely uh, continue to pray for me, and I'm glad this is all over. <laughs> all of the anticipation and the waiting is over, and I'm quite pleased. In 2011, y'all, it's all about length retention, length, length, length retention. So that's what I'm gonna be focusing on. And um, if you have any questions, concerns, hit me up. I'm sure I'm going to get some criticism on how I did something wrong or whatever, but it's all good. I don't know everything. I'm still open to learn, so uh, just hit me up. Let me know what I could have done differently or whatever. Any suggestions are always welcome here. So um, this is it again. Got my little trim done, and this is it. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for being patient and waiting for this video. I'm very, very pleased with the results. So I'll see you guys on the next video.